How's it going everybody? So today's video, I want to talk about e-fans, electric fans, V6 fans. Everyone seems to call it something different, but we have to talk about this. I've done videos in the past and they were actually a while ago. They're probably more than a year ago of the installation of one of these fans in replacement of the mechanical fan. So I'll show you guys in a second, but for those of you guys that don't know, the fourth gen Ram 1500s, uh, with the Hemis, they come with two fans. One is mechanical and one is electric. One is mechanical, one is electric. Again, I'll say that uh, twice so that we can get to the bottom of it. So, like I said, there is already an electric fan, but there is the mechanical fan that takes, um, takes away a little bit of power from the engine. It's essentially like a propeller on an airplane bolted to the front of the engine. Um, it attaches to the water pump pulley and that thing spinning just robs um, some power that you can free up otherwise by removing it. So there is a few options you guys have. We're gonna get into them. There is a lot of old school people that'll tell you, you can't remove the mechanical fan. Why would you do that? You're gonna overheat, on and on the story goes. Well, I'm here to tell you that the 2019 and up Ram 1500s no longer have a mechanical fan. They're all electric. So um, as long as you have a fan that will move enough volume of air, there's no reason why you can't run an electric fan. Some people argue that you know, a mechanical fan is more reliable, but honestly, the electrical fan or the mechanical fan, they both can fail. Mechanical fan, the clutch can go on it and it'll stop spinning. You know, electric fan, the motor could burn out, a fuse could pop, um, there's just, you know, there's pros and cons to each one. So I don't want to make this video a debate on which one is better. I just want to get down to the, uh, the nitty gritty of this whole thing. And if you guys want to put a, you know, if you want to remove the mechanical fan, if you're going for performance on your vehicle and not even just my performance, I actually gained a little bit of uh, miles per gallon. I want to say probably one to two miles per gallon by getting rid of my mechanical fan. And I'm going to clear up today what you guys, um, kind of the myths and whatnot and what will happen if you decide to put one on. Let me switch this camera around. I'll show you what's under the hood and I'll show you what you can do. So most of you guys know 2014 Ram 1500 with the Hemi engine and now it is all back to stock. This thing was pretty modified before, but what you're gonna see is on a stock Hemi, you're gonna see that mechanical fan. And if I can get my camera in here, you can also see behind it, you see the electrical fan. So there is two fans on this thing from the factory. And just another point of observation, here is the electrical connection for the electric fan. So what happens is if you turn on your air conditioning or if the, um, if the engine gets too hot, it'll kick in the secondary fan in order to cool the radiator, the condenser, whatever, um, whatever is going on at that moment, whether it's AC or not. So what most people will do, and you guys can check back in you know, all the other videos, and actually in one of the last videos, I put all this stuff back on, so check that video, I'll link it above here. But um, you can remove all this, take out the stock standard electric fan that comes in this, because um, this shroud is essentially formed to fit the mechanical fan. So if you just left this shroud with that electric fan, it's not gonna be optimum because air can still go around it and pass. And this is where this comes into play. So this fan, you know, most of you guys already know what I'm talking about, but for those of you guys that don't, this is why we're going over it. This is an electric fan that is a direct replacement for all that stuff that you see there. So this is a V6 version fan from a fourth gen RAM. So if you get a fourth gen RAM, meaning 09 to 18, and it has a V6 engine, that fan will be on it. There will be no mechanical fan. So what a lot of guys do, and I did with no issues, is you buy one of these V6 version fans. This is actually an OEM Mopar unit. You can see it's still got like the refrigerant sticker and all that jazz on it. And you can bolt this right up take off the mechanical fan, take off the electric fan. And as you can see, this connector, this big, uh, it's actually a square, it's a four pin connector, but only two of the wires are used. 
and we got the same connection over here. We got a four pin uh, connector, this square connector. I'll have you guys note, you can only use, make sure you order a V6 fan from a 2009 to 2012. If you order a 2013 and up V6 fan to try and put it on your Hemi, this plug will be different. It's gonna be like this oval style plug and it's a different setup. So even though it'll bolt up, it'll, you know, it'll bolt to your vehicle, the connection is completely different. So you'll be left trying to hack up your wiring harness or cut wires and all that. So make sure you get a 2009 to 2012 V6 fan if you're gonna do this. Next, we're gonna talk about what happens if you put this onto your vehicle in replacement of that stuff. So let me switch this back around and I'll get into that. Okay, so if you guys decide to do this, if you decide to take out the stock mechanical fan and the stock electrical fan. What will happen, or actually let's back up, let's go back one step further. If you just took off your mechanical fan and you wanted to try and run that electrical fan that's in there, can it be done? Yes, it can be done. There's a lot of guys that are doing it. All I'm gonna say is that it isn't as efficient as this large fan that I just showed you. So the fact that this one has the shrouding and it channels the air directly in the into the fan blades. This one moves a lot more air than the stock one on the truck. Guys do get away with it where they'll remove all that junk and they'll just run the stock electrical fan, but just, you know, be warned that it doesn't cool quite as well. Can it, you know, get the job done? Yes, but if towing is one of your factors or you live in an extremely hot climate, just beware that you don't have as good of cooling capacity um, as you could. So, Let's get that out of the way. So you can run that, try it out for a bit, and maybe that'll be like a stepping stone to the upgrade. Maybe you try that for a bit and wherever it happens to be that you live, and then you upgrade to this V6 style fan. Um, the next most common question is, do you need a tuner? And I'm gonna be here to tell you that you honestly, uh, would you benefit from getting a tuner? Yes, because then you can adjust the fan temperatures when the fan kicks on and off, but you don't actually have to. There might be somebody or some people that are gonna argue with me in, this, in the comments, but you know I'm just gonna tell you guys, um, you don't absolutely have to, and this is why. So the stock thermostat in these trucks is around 203 degrees, and that's when it fully opens. But the electric fan um, in the stock programming on these trucks doesn't kick on, it won't engage or turn on your fan until about 220 degrees. So, um, you know, you're not gonna overheat necessarily. You're not gonna boil over or do anything like that. The stock fan will kick in at around 220 to bring the truck back down. So you might see your needle, cause I've ran it like this for a couple months or before. You'll see the needle, normally you'll see your needle pretty much in the middle of your temperature range. You'll see it just go slightly ever so past until the fans kick on and then it'll bring it back down again. So I'm here to tell you, you guys can do it. Um, and this is only in situations where you're like in stop and go traffic or you know bumper to bumper, that thing, or you're parked where you're not getting any airflow through the front end um, and the fan has to cool it. It's not gonna kick on until 220. Now, with that being said, if you run your air conditioning, remember I told you guys before, if you run the air conditioning, it'll kick that fan on sooner. So if you're in a hotter climate and you're running the AC, that fan will kick on and it'll usually keep your temperatures in check. So that's a situation you can actually run just a electric fan, whether it's you wanna run that one or you wanna replace with a V6 um, without a tune. So I just wanna put that out there, you guys. Hopefully you guys found this informational. Um, and like I said, because a lot of people, I know the tuner is expensive and if you have a locked PCM, if your truck's 2015 and up, you start getting pretty expensive to unlock a PCM and then get a tuner. So um, I just want to let you guys know what options you guys have if you want to get into this. And like I said, you're going to free up a little bit of horsepower. It's not going to add horsepower to the engine, but you'll free up some lost horsepower. Um, and you'll also, I saw a little bit of a gain in miles per gallon. So I'm not saying it's going to be the same for everybody, but that's just what I experienced. That's the situation. If you want to run uh, electric fan on stock programming 
And if you want to get a tune, then you can start doing things different where you could, you know, change the thermostat to maybe 180 or some guys run 160 and adjust your fans um, on and off temperature to be in line with that too. But um, that's taking things a step further. But if you guys just want to bolt on a fan or you guys want to take off the mechanical fan and get some free, you know, free up some free horsepower, it's not going to cost anything to unbolt that mechanical fan. But also just one last thing. The threads are reverse threads on those fans if you have an 09 and up. So check out my other video. I show exactly how to do it. And like I said, it'll be linked up above and probably in the description below. But if you guys like this video, found it informative, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're stopping in for the first time, make sure to hit that subscribe button and hit that bell notification so you're notified of all the latest videos. And we'll see you on the next one. Take care, guys.